How's it going everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to create viral Instagram infographics like these. You've seen them all over Instagram. You may even follow some of these accounts. I'll show you how to create these quickly and easily using a free online program called Canva. Canva is a drag and drop graphic design tool that you can use on your desktop and mobile. Canva is free, but they also have a pro version. What I'll show you in this video is all done in the free version. I'll also show you where to get all the copyright free images and icons to put in the posts. If you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you a secret a lot of people are doing to create these posts and where they source these images. Some people are doing this to create huge followings and then make money online. Feel free to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. Let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up Canva. Create an account if you don't have one. In the top menu, click on templates. Then click on Instagram posts under social media. Here you can find templates in the correct size for Instagram. I'll open up a blank one. I can then change the background color by clicking on background and then selecting black at the top. Then click on text and add a heading. The purple grid lines will help you to line the text where you want. It's best to have the content planned out beforehand so you know what you want. I have it all written down in notepad. You will need to come up with ideas and then research the content you want. You can source the content from all over the web. For example, if you're thinking of setting up a business slash success page, you could go to Forbes.com. There's hundreds of articles on there. You could also get a list of the top 10 richest people in the world. In fact, there are loads of lists. You've got the world's most powerful people, the richest people in tech, Africa's billionaires. You can create infographics based on this information. You can do the same thing for tech, fitness, investing, health. You just find the top websites or blogs in each category and put together compelling information. You could go to TechCrunch or success.com. They have list posts and articles you could use and then curate content for your infographics. Here, this website has 20 inspirational books by black authors, six productive ways to start your day, four leadership tips, 25 inspirational graduation quotes, for this video, I'll just use a simple list post based on a previous YouTube video that I made. Now, I'll just type up my heading and adjust the size by dragging in the corners. You can make it wider with this bar on the side. Then you can change the color of the text by highlighting it and then selecting the color box in the top menu and selecting a color. I might make it orange actually. Once you have the main heading done, then add a subheading with your tag or username. I'll make it smaller, then just line it up to the middle. Once you hit the middle, you'll see the purple line again that will help you align it perfectly in the center. Alternatively, you can select the item, click position and then hit center and that will line it up for you. You can also just push it up slightly by using the arrow keys. The up arrow will move it up one pixel at a time. Shift and up will move it up 10 pixels at a time. This helps you move it up and down or left and right without going diagonally. Now for the main content, I'll add another text box and copy in the information that I pre-prepared. You can adjust the size, weight and color with the options at the top. I'll also align left so I have room for some images. To add images, click on elements on the left hand side and search for what you need. I'll search for learn, this one looks good to me, and then just drag it into place. You'll see that the images are labeled as either free or pro. There is a good selection in the free version, but it's still limited. Obviously you have to pay for Canva to get access to all of these pro images. I'll also add in an image of some money. Just click on the image you want. This one looks good. I'll just put that into place. As you can see, there are plenty of icons. Most of them are pro versions. If you don't like any of the icons that Canva provides, you can find free icons on graphicburger.com. So this is the website. 
these icons are free to use in both personal and commercial projects with no attribution required. The website offers icons in packs that you can download for free. So here we have 100 business icons available in different formats. You just download it, then unzip it. You can then upload the PNG version into Canva for your designs. You can also find free icons on icons8.com. On this site, you can search and download individual icons for free as long as you give them credit. They also have stock photos and transparent PNGs, which are also very useful. Again, these are free, but with attribution. So you need to provide a link back to their website. You can find a list of other useful sites here. Make sure to check out the licenses before using them. So back to Canva, you can also add a logo to the bottom of the page if you have one. I'm currently in the process of getting a new logo, so I'll just place a Wi-Fi symbol here. I use this in some of my profile pictures. So once you've added the logo here, this is pretty much how most people do it. So that's the simple and free way of creating an Instagram infographic. In a second, I'll show you a secret technique other people are using to make them. For now, here are some other examples of Instagram posts I've made with Canva. As you can see, it's really quick and easy. This is the same one I just created, but with different fonts. Feel free to play around with it. Here's another simple one. All of these are just basically text and graphics. And you just line them up and position them and present them how you want. Once you've made one, you can quickly make more. So, I mean, within the space of an hour, you could create seven and that's a week's worth of Instagram posts if you're posting one a day. This one is just a template with a photo on it just to show you that you can also add photos. And again, uh, you don't need to use graphics. I use a transparent free background from photos.icons8.com. If you click on transparent PNG at the top, you can find images without backgrounds. So these are quite handy if you're making Instagram infographics or Instagram carousels. Again, make sure you follow the license agreement. Once you've finished, you can just download the file and send it to your phone to post on Instagram. Or next to the download button in the drop down, you can email the design to your phone and upload to Instagram. An easier method is just to have the Canva app on your phone, make the designs on your computer, then sign into Canva on your phone and download the design straight to your device. You can of course make these designs on the Canva app on your phone. However, it is slightly more challenging as you have a small screen to work with, but all the features work the same. Ultimately, it's just text and graphics. So this was pretty straightforward, but now I'll mention the secret a lot of Instagrammers are using to create these pages. Fiverr. Yes, Fiverr.com. People are buying these infographics. If you go to Fiverr and search for Instagram infographics, you can see people selling these infographics. You don't just get the infographics, they can also customize it with your own colors and logos. See this one, 500 business success tips, 300 business success tips, cryptocurrency infographics, ketogenic diet, health and fitness. Let's have a look at the top. This one has 74 reviews. This guy has 592 reviews. Let's have a look at this one. I will design business success tips infographics for Instagram. 10 infographics for four pounds, 100 for 12, 300 for 1653. So this person is selling 300 Instagram graphics for 16 pounds. That's around 21 US dollars. You also get 160 business quote images. That's a total of 460 posts. That's a year's supply of Instagram posts. He can even add your logo, website URL, and Instagram handle on all graphics and add your brand colors. Let's have a look at the bottom. This is an important note. These are pre-made 300 business success tips infographics. All of the illustrations used in creating infographics are either from Vecteezy or Freepik. You can use images on your social media pages, websites and blogs, but you may not sell, modify, resell or use any part of illustrations in creating other designs. 
Okay, so he just also told us where he gets his images. So let's have a look at Vecteasy. This is good information right here. Let me just look around. This looks like a good website. You would have to sign up for this service. The other one he mentioned was FreePick. This is another good website. These are free to use with attribution. So you need to credit them in one way, shape or form. I mean, for 20 bucks, you can't really go wrong. You're getting 460 posts. I mean, it's best to make them yourself because you're, you're creating unique content and you're putting that out there in the world. But if you're looking to build up an Instagram page, this might be a quick way to do it. And what, 20 bucks, that's the price of a takeaway. People can use these to build an Instagram following and add an affiliate link to a website selling eBooks or online courses. I'm probably making a good amount of money from this. I might have to try it myself. I mean, you could even make a business doing what he's doing, create Instagram posts in Canva and then sell them on Fiverr. This guy has sold almost 600 with some in the queue. That probably equates to thousands of pounds. And all he's doing is changing the colors each time, add, adding a username, adding a website domain. And he's probably he probably has them templated. So he changes one and it changes them across the whole board. There are other sellers doing it as well in different categories. You have fitness, health, investing. I'll add a link to Fiverr in the description if you want to buy any of these. I might do it myself. I don't know these people from Tom, Mick or Harry. So um, use your own judgment and make sure you do your due diligence. I'll add a link to this guy in the description. He seems to have a lot of good reviews. So that's it. You have two quick ways to make these infographics. You can do them yourself for free in Canva or buy them in Fiverr. Let me know if you found this video useful and feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.